All right, well, hey everyone. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first ever video. Today I thought I would start off my channel with a bang and do a video that everyone is sure to love. My puzzle collection. So, strap in. It's going to be very exciting. Um, I apologise for whatever my hair is doing. I thought I didn't want to set the standard too high, so... That's what we got going. Alright, sorry, I kept looking away. That's where all my puzzles are. I have a lot of them. And I've categorised them, sort of. So I've got... Well, you'll see. You'll see. Alright. I guess we'll just jump in. Let's go. So first up, this is my two puzzles. These are like mystery puzzles, I guess. So this one's called Foul Play and Cabernet. Is that what that is? I don't know. So basically you build the puzzle. You don't know what it's going to look like, but you build the puzzle and then from that you have to solve the mystery. So, well, I mean, technically this is my mum's puzzle, but that one. And then I have this one. It's a Raven's Burger escape puzzle so what's on the box here is very similar to what you make but it's not exactly the same again it's the same thing i think there's six different mysteries that you have to solve from clues that are in the puzzle so that's that one all right while we're in the theme of kind of interactive puzzles this is by the brand well it's Puntastic puzzles but I guess the brand is Hinkler. So it's a movie pun puzzle. You can just see my little head in the corner. Um, and there's, what is it? A hundred, a thousand? Yeah, a hundred movies in this puzzle that you have to guess. When I did it, I actually lost the bit of paper that tells you what all the movies are. So we've gone through and we've guessed. We made it and I've got like my bit of paper, my paper's here with the movies on it that we think are in it. but. I can't check because I lost a bit of paper. I know it's somewhere. I might have left it at uni, I think, and then I brought it back, but it didn't get paired back up with the puzzle. Anyway, point is, I don't know how well I did on that because I don't have the answers. All right, so this one is an Impossi puzzle. This is just from Kmart, I think. 100-piece puzzle. It's not that impossible. It's quite easy, actually, because it's only 100 pieces, but, you know, it's a bit of a hacker's image to do and this one is called crazy difficult puzzle and this is dusty <laughs> crazy difficult puzzle what brand is this crazy yarn i suppose but yeah this is a christmas one i got it for christmas obviously 100 pieces again and it's just lots of little christmas trees and there's reindeer in there and things all right so now we're going to look at something that i'm sure most people will like Harry Potter puzzles. I only have three. I thought I had more, but clearly I need to expand my collection. You'll see this packaging a lot. It's like a new, I don't know, like a marketing thing. I guess Harry Potter, the licensing has been sold to different companies with this kind of vibe to it. But this puzzle, this is so hard. It's a thousand pieces. It's a really fun puzzle, but it is so hard because everything is a very similar color and there's a lot of lines going in all kinds of directions like you know there's obviously these staircases but then there's all these like pictures on the outside it's so hard um when i finished this i probably left it together for three months because i was too i couldn't pull it apart i put too much effort into that um all right next is this puzzle it's got nothing in it because this is the most recent puzzle i have done basically a very simple puzzle just the four houses and their emblems and then it's got the Hogwarts one in the seal very nice very cool this is fun because it's a thousand pieces but because it's got the four sections you can kind of split it up pretty easily so it makes it way easier to do like four little 250 pieces but it does get quite difficult with like see this Hufflepuff one with all the this color here like that's very difficult to do but it's a lot of fun and I enjoy doing it the next one is this one here. It's obviously the Hogwarts Express. Um, I haven't done this one yet. A thousand pieces. So I'm keen to do this one. So this is actually what the whole puzzle looks like. Oh 
Hogwarts Express. But yes, have not done this one yet, but mm -hmm. super keen. All right, so next what I've got is these three puzzles. They're all a thousand piece. Um, these are from the brand Hinkler and the, I don't know, like the series, I guess, is Mind Bogglers. So similar to the pun one, whatever series that was, this is Mind Bogglers. So I've got this one, which is of the, I'll tell you what's called, the Trevi Fountain in Italy. So I did this one Christmas day and it was pretty hard. It took me a while, but super pretty picture. This one, and this is of Dalmatia in Croatia. And last one from this brand or this series is Zandam in Holland. It's got like a little windmill and a cute little house. I have a collection of these. So these are from the brand Hinkler again. This series though is Puzzabilities, I suppose. So all these Hinkler ones do a lot of like 3 for 30 deals as you can see. Um, so that's why I have so many of these and I really like them. So these ones are the 500 piece ones um, and these are very educational and I'm a nerd so I like them. So we'll just go through them quickly. Periodic table. This one's really easy because you can tell exactly what something is and where it goes. Super easy. Next is a world map. Next we have ocean life. I have not done this one yet, but it's very educational. Um, next, dinosaurs. Tells you all about different dinosaurs. And again, yeah, these are all 500 pieces, so they're not super difficult to do. They don't take too long. And you can learn something. The human body you can learn all about your insides. And the last one I have here is the solar system. I love doing this one. If not, kind of reminds me of E.T. But anyway, this is um, another periodic table one, sort of. This is the puzzle. It's a periodic table. And it also has a little book with it, Discover Science. My plan is to use this when I'm a science teacher. And yeah, it just explains all these different concepts. Can you read that? Probably not. And yeah, I mainly bought this because... It's educational and when I'm a teacher, I can let my kids do educational puzzles. The last two puzzles. So these are probably two of my favourites. Um, I haven't done this one for a while because it's quite dusty. Again, <laughs> uh, these are my Super Mario puzzles. So I only have two. So I have this one, which is super cute. This is from the new Super Mario Brothers Wii. Oh, it says it on the front. I think I got this from EB Games, and I love it. I do it quite a lot. It's just super cute. It's super easy. What is it? 550 pieces, so it's not difficult, and it's just lots of fun. The last one is probably the most difficult puzzle I own. It's a 1,000 pieces, and it's from Super Mario Brothers. Um, do I have it? Here, look. I actually have the original game. So this is the game it's from, right? I don't know if anyone's played this. So this is from the, like... The NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, or whatever it's called, the original Nintendo, right? It's got two games on one little bit of plastic, right? But look at this puzzle. It looks kind of cool, not too hard. But this is mainly black. Do you know how hard it is to do a all black puzzle? Here you go. This is what it actually looks like. This is so hard because these are all very similar but you can kind of match up lines and things these there's three exactly the same you have to figure out what goes where again not too hard the words you can figure out but all this blackness is so hard this took me so long to do maybe like a week of doing it every single day for most of the day and I've done this twice and it drives me insane every time but I love it it's a fun puzzle this will distract my brain a lot it will frustrate me a lot. All right, so that's my puzzle collection. I hope you liked watching this video about all my puzzles. I love them. I'm sure not many of you care, but I quite enjoy them. Thanks for watching. Um, I guess I'll see you next week, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a YouTuber. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Before I finish up, I just want to give you a bit of a rundown of what's the go with this whole 
YouTube channel. So, I mean, I'm just going to post things I like, such as my puzzles. I might post videos of me doing a puzzle. Would that be exciting? Probably not. But I watch people do puzzles on YouTube and I quite enjoy it. So, <laughs> I might do some of those. I might also do like, I don't know, book videos, book reviews. I'm not a reviewer. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I can talk about things I like, so I'll probably do that. Really what I want to do is, once I become a teacher, I want to be able to show people like cute, cool things I'm doing, but I'm not a teacher yet. So we've got to start somewhere, and I don't know if my puzzle collection is the right place to start, but here we are. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I enjoyed filming it. Also, sorry about the green shirt. With This is a green chair as well. I kind of blend in, but this isn't my favourite colour, Irish green. So, I don't know, we might sort that out, maybe not. Let me know what you think, if you have any advice about how this can be less crap, let me know. I would say like, <laughs> comment below what your favourite puzzle was, but no one's watching this, no one cares. So, yeah, awesome. Bye!